But people just don't know what they're looking at. It's okay, buddy. They don't see it. He's scared. It's okay, buddy. And you just see him relax as I get out of his bubble. He's like, oh. And I'm just showing him that you can tolerate that for three seconds or five seconds or whatever. It's okay, buddy. And there he even stepped toward me, which is even more positive than dropping his head. Well, I don't say more positive, but the fact that he's closing that distance, it's just letting you know that he's starting to either be either feeling safe with me or a little bit more curious about what I'm doing. Either one's good on both counts. It's okay, buddy. But yeah, a horse won't ever try to lie to you. It doesn't even occur to you. They're just going to show you how they feel. Now, he didn't, I mean, he raised his head up a little bit that time, but he didn't brace up that much that time. Oh, boy. Well, that's getting better. And he's starting to realize that he doesn't have to be so scared. But if I had just started rubbing him from the beginning and kept rubbing him until he freaked, eventually he would have became overwhelming and he would have probably freaked out. But because I do it for just a few seconds, Get out of there. There he actually let out a deep breath like, oh. But they think you're going to kill him. And they think everything is. They're like, this horse doesn't see himself any different than like a scared little bunny rabbit or a deer or whatever. Like in the wild, horses get eaten by predators. We're predators. So they naturally do not trust us. But we do not think that they're afraid of us. Nobody thinks that the horses are scared of them, but they absolutely are terrified of you. And then we get nervous, but a horse starts getting a little weird. We tense up, and then that just makes them more nervous. So I can't be doing this all scared and, <clears throat> and weird about it. I just got to be out here like, hey, buddy. Just, well, in my case, this is just another day at the office. <laughs> but I just act like it's no big deal. If I'm out here going, oh, my gosh, what's he going to do when I touch his back? Then he's going to do something when I touch his back. It's okay. Yeah, I gotta show him that, buddy, I've done this a million times. You can you can trust me. And ultimately, after he gets weird, like to where like right now it's making his skin crawl when I get close to him and touch him, and that'll start to go away. And then it's gonna, he's gonna realize that hey, that probably feels pretty good for somebody scratching your back like that. But right now he's just like, Ugh. but eventually he'll get to where like he realizes that wow, I misjudged that stick because I like it when that thing scratches my back. But right now. Sure about it. And the switching side to side gives so like right now I'm giving the other side of the horse a break. So I'm over here talking to this horse. He's getting maybe a little overwhelmed, doesn't really seem like but he's, you know, kind of could be getting a little tense. And then when I come over here, that side gets to take a break, and then this horse gets to work a little bit. Good boy. And some of you that, you know, the people that have been here quite a few times, like I say it all the time, but like I liken their mind to an Etch-a-Sketch. Like when, when I'm over there, I'm like making a mess on my Etch-a-Sketch screen or whatever. And when I come over here, it's like I just shook it back clean and I got a blank slate to work on. And their attention spans are super short. So by just coming over here for a little bit, work on this side, shake it back clean, come over here. Every time I switch sides, I got a, a clear mind again, or at least it changes their focus, I guess, is what I'm saying. Like, they, they don't, I, you know, it, it's kind of weird that you can give a horse a break by walking from one side to the other. It's the same horse, but just two different horses in every one. What do you think, buddy? That doesn't seem so bad. Now, he didn't really seem like he cringed or bristled up at all at that, that time. Now, he turned pretty good there. It's okay, buddy. But until I get to where I can touch him with his stick and not have him be squirmy, and I don't need to get any closer to him because if he, you know, this horse doesn't really strike me as a kicker or anything like that. He doesn't show me any of those tendencies, but they all can do it. But this keeps me at a safe distance until I feel like I can trust that horse a little more. Good boy. But ultimately, it won't take us very long. I'll be able to rub this stick over his whole body here in a few minutes. And once that happens, then I feel like I can go ahead and start touching him with my own hands and arms. Good boy. And you notice I'm just starting to work back a little further every time. Now that he's okay with me touching his back, I'm going to start working into his rump. But I wouldn't do 
extra when he's there. So you're like, I got back over here, that woke him up just a little bit. And they're just terrified. Good boy. So this side, now he doesn't really react to the rump as much, but the other side, he doesn't really like it. I do like that he just dropped his head there. That's a great sign that he's starting to relax. Good boy. Good boy. And I don't spend any or too much time at any one thing unless he shows me, or he starts to squirm around, and we'll have to work on it until we iron out the situation. But I don't ask him to tolerate too much. I just get in and get out. Oh, he didn't like that much. He didn't do anything crazy, but he really cringed in his belly. already just he struggles more on that other side so I thought I would just take a little bit of time and get him to allow me to be over here and I, I just I noticed it this morning and I noticed it yesterday when we, we brought him into that corral and I spent just a few minutes with him so that I could catch him this morning without too much trouble good boy but yeah he's just scared that all looks pretty good now. So I'll go ahead and push him around. 